Hi, I'm Jared from KTWU. Coming up, a segment from Sunflower Journeys. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting ktwu.org to make a contribution. As small towns throughout the Midwest continue to struggle to survive, one community found itself in a unique situation after surviving a major disaster. In her first story, we see what's happened in Greensburg as the community has attempted to rebuild itself in accordance with the latest developments in environmental design. I owe so many thank yous to so many communities and so many individuals and municipalities in the state for what they've done to help us. Without those volunteers and efforts, we would not be where we're at today. You can talk about all the cool things we did, but from the very beginning of the volunteers that have helped us clean up our community, help rebuild our houses and our, and our, and our businesses, and sent money and sent and clothes and food. We owe so many thank yous. And our one way to say thank you back to them is to build a community that's a better community than we once had. Steve Hewitt moved to Greensburg in May of 2006 to assume the role of city administrator. After only a year on the job, his world was turned upside down as the community was devastated by a massive tornado. Three years later, he reflects on the challenges that have arisen as the town rebuilds. As the whole entire development of our re redevelopment of our communities happened, we, we have two different sections here. We had to really really sell our efforts to be a, a, a model, sustainable community, and why that was important to set us away from the original pack, to, to let us stand on our own and say, hey, this is unique, we want to be unique. And, and that was very exciting for people, and they got on board and we kind of pushed it. Now we're in a constant, re, we're obviously reassuring people, hey, this is the right direction. We are seeing success. It takes a lot of courage when you've lost everything you, you had and materially, and in some cases, friends and family, you just want to get back to a sense of familiarity and the way things were. A nonprofit organization called Greensburg Greentown was established soon after the tornado to assist with the rebuilding of the community. It was founded by Daniel Wallach and his wife, who live in an adjacent county. The organization's office is now located on the second floor of this model eco-home where people can spend the night and experience green living firsthand. The idea of rebuilding Greensburg as a model green community just seemed to make so much sense. And so we put this concept paper together and brought it down to the first town meeting following the storm, which was exactly a week to the day after the storm. Nobody had any idea how many people would even be here because there was no electricity, people couldn't be in town. Um, but 500 people showed up at this meeting and the mayor at that time, Lonnie McCollum, talked about rebuilding as an environmentally friendly um, community. And so we were thrilled. Not We can't walk away from this, we're not gonna walk away, we're gonna build a brand new town and we're gonna do it right, uh, no matter what it takes. From the very beginning, we, we wanted to stand out apart from everybody else so that we would allow ourselves an opportunity to grow. Because rural America is struggling today, we, we know this. And after you have a disaster, I think it would be easy for us to say, okay, let's fold this whole thing up and let's just get out of here. And if we're gonna survive and really be a, a, a player in, in this whole effort of a community and growth and quality of life for people to wanna come here and business to come here, we had to do this. And part of what we've helped do is, is conceptualize the comeback from an ecotourist standpoint. In other words, could we make the town itself be an attraction? Um, you know, the Big Well has been this town's great attraction and they were, uh, before the storm, attracting about 40,000 visitors a year. Very important uh, to the town. But to now have between 20 and 30 attractions um, to be a living science museum, in a sense, 
um, is a pretty compelling attraction and it has been drawing people from all over the world uh, and especially the media has really taken an interest and that's been very beneficial to the town. Greensburg's story has now been told countless times by dozens of print and electronic media throughout the world. The most extensive narrative has been presented on Planet Green, a subsidiary of Discovery Communications. Over the course of three seasons, a series entitled Greensburg has presented 30 full-length programs following the day-to-day -day experiences of local residents, with Hollywood film star Leonardo DiCaprio serving as executive producer. He's been a big sustainable guy, involved with sustainability, involved with the Discovery Network. So the connection when, when he heard about it and Discovery heard about what we were trying to do and the connection came to Greensburg, it just all fit. And, and obviously he invested $400,000 plus dollars in, into, into our business incubator. And it's nice to have that relationship. And I think that's what's going to help us grow to, to, because, because we are attracting those kind of people that, that, that care about the environment and care about the future of our country. Recognizing that Greensburg's story can serve as an inspiration for the country, Steve Hewitt and Mayor Bob Dixon have both been invited to attend State of the Union addresses by two successive presidents. Greensburg, Kansas, a town that was completely destroyed by a tornado, but is being rebuilt by its residents as a global example of how clean energy can power an entire community, how it can bring jobs and businesses to a place where piles of bricks and rubble once lay. The tragedy was terrible, said one of the men who helped them rebuild. But the folks here know that it also provided an incredible opportunity. The federal government has provided significant financial support for the reconstruction of the community, including the new school, hospital, and city hall. A number of private contractors and corporations have also stepped up to become partners in the rebuilding of Greensburg. We've been very lucky to get a lot of partners. Obviously, Discovery was a partner from the very beginning, and that allowed partners like uh, GM, uh, General Motors, uh, Frito-Lay Sunchips, uh, Clorox, uh, DuPont, large companies to come and invest in our community. And a lot of, a lot of partners from a lot of small companies, I, I, the list is so big it's hard to see, but, but that have talked about, hey, new technology, try our product, try this, do this, do that. From our wind farm all the way down to, to fiberboard uh, that's on the on the buildings or inside and the carpets and who knows what else you can you can name hundreds of different products that we had to implement and educate our contractors our architects ourselves as staff and to the community that say hey we're going to do this we've got to have be this living laboratory and those partners all came in to really show hey we want you to succeed we can talk about our product because we're they're trying to get their name out and we're trying to help us and they're trying to help themselves so it really it really has been a unique partnership with so many different companies who have stepped up and said hey again greensburg's a great story and we're branding ourselves as green community you know we want them to brand greensburg as part of their portfolio so we help each other and it's worked out well Glad you could stop by to see a clip from Sunflower Journeys. There are more great local stories out there waiting to be discovered, but it takes help from viewers like you and me to make it happen. Visit ktwu.org right now to make a pledge.